amigos, and welcome to Mexican Miniature. I'm your Mexican miniaturist, Leo. Now, this is my first video, and I'm going to be featuring my very first miniature house. I'm drawing inspiration from my Mexican culture, as well as Mexican artists and architectures, uh, architects uh, such as Frida Kahlo, Diego Rivera, and the founding father of Mexican modern architecture, Luis Barragan. I'll provide you guys with some links, so if you'd like to learn more about Mexican art, architecture, and culture, click on those links and follow along. Now, in this video, I'm going to be painting and assembling my house. I designed it myself, so I'm sure I'm going to make plenty of mistakes. So uh, please like and subscribe, follow along. I'll show you all the mistakes I make and all the solutions I come up with hopefully save you from making the same mistakes in the future. So the first thing I did was I taped together all my walls and floors to see if they would fit, and sure enough they did, except, oops, I did find that I needed some more support for the main floor to hold up all the weight of the second and third floor, as well as some posts around the back for an overhang. I'll show you when we get there how that worked. So the first thing I'll be doing in this video is applying this uh, texture coat which is made of acrylic paint and sand. And this will go on all the exterior walls as well as the interior walls, which will have all these wonderful bright colors inspired by Mexican art and architecture. Here we go. There you have it, my very first miniature house. I'm calling it Casa de Sueños, or Dream House, or House of Dreams. Uh, because it was my very first build and uh, one that I designed myself, I didn't have any expectations. I just knew it was going to be challenging, and it was. It took over two weeks, uh, working five to six hours a day, and, um, you know, it still needs uh, some work. Uh, also, I used a lot of straight pins to hold everything together uh, while it dried has uh, three stories and seven rooms. And over the next few weeks, I'll show you uh, how I'm going to fill all those rooms with everything Mexican that I think uh, an artist living in Mexico City would have. Uh, I learned a lot in this uh, first stage of uh, building a, a miniature house. And um, I'll show you how I created some of the elements that uh, went into it and hope to pass that knowledge on to you. 
Uh, the exterior needs uh, a little work still, some touch-up painting, and I'll be adding some uh, distressing to make it uh, look a little older like it wasn't built just yesterday. Well, that's as far as I've gotten. Uh, join me in the weeks to come. Hope to see you soon. Adios, amigos. Thank you.